What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you there are doing well, and welcome to today's video, which is... Posing the question, has Chelsea Football Club picked up a real bargain in Christian Pulisic, and how good exactly is he? Young Captain America furiously announced himself into English football yesterday, away at Turf Moor. A hard place to go, remember? Not for young Christian Pulisic, he scored the perfect hat-trick. Left foot, right foot, header, superb. He'd already chipped in with a few assists this season for Chelsea in limited time, but no one really saw what he could do, and boy did he demonstrate what he could do at the stubborn gates of Turf Moor. <laughs> Superb scene. So we're going to talk about his record so far at Chelsea and what he can offer and what they have on their hands. But first, I want to offer a quick reminder to you to subscribe to Football Therapy and hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single darn day and I don't want you to miss out. So please do subscribe, hit the bell notification icon like I just said and like the video please. Right then, Chelsea bought Christian Pulisic slash Captain America last winter when they knew they were getting a transfer ban. They loaned him back to Dortmund for six months or half a season knowing he will return to the club when they're ban. Everyone immediately speculated, all right, this guy's an Eden Hazard replacement, Hazard's going, Pulisic's a very talented young player, he plays in a similar position, he's got a similar play style, you know, whatever. No one really thought about it anymore because, you know, the season played out, the transfer ban came in, Frank Lampard came in, and all these young academy players emerged in, and he sort of got pushed to the side a little bit. Now, I've maintained the same story about how I've always thought Pulisic's an incredibly talented player and he will find his place in his Chelsea team. He just needs to be sort of bedded into the team, come in and out, let the other players play who are in form and have his name taken out of the spotlight for a little bit, which Frank Lampard has recently come out and said a few times that is exactly what he was doing. And obviously he's exploded onto the scene away at Burnley this weekend. Now, if you look comparatively how this could be handled, wrongly maybe, you look at maybe Nicola Pepe over at Arsenal. A very talented player who did very well over in the French league, but he had a huge price tag on his head, came over to England, was thrown straight in, and he's still yet to score a goal from open play in the Premier League. In fact, Nicola Pepe has played 639 minutes in the Premier League this season and he's yet to score a goal in open play. He was thrown in straight away and basically just played loads of minutes. Maybe Arsenal felt obligated to play him, but to be honest, they were not obligated to play him straight away. Unai Emery has got loads of forwards. He's got loads of great attacking talent. He could have nursed him in slowly like Frank Lampard did to Christian Pulisic. Now, Christian Pulisic has played significantly less minutes than Nicola Pepe. He's played 403 minutes, but suddenly he's got the perfect hat trick and he's got three goals from open play to go with his assists as well. So he looks an absolute player and he does look like he offers Chelsea something that Eden Hazard did offer. The Frank Lampard revolution brings pacey, direct, youthful play in attacking football. You know, your Mason Mounts, your Tammy Abrahams, your Callum hudson Adoys, etc. But Christian Pulisic is a completely different proposition on the ball. He's very much a ball carrier. He likes to slalom a bit more, look for the pass. Although he scored the perfect hat trick, which is superb in scoring goals, He's a very selfless player and he does want to play other people in and combine with them and draw defenders out. Much like Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard didn't score that many goals. He scored a lot of goals for Chelsea by their standards or by a forward standards generally. But he was a selfless player as well, Eden Hazard. He wanted to create something. He wanted to carry the ball. He wanted to move people around. He wanted to dribble. Lots like Christian Pulisic. Hazard only scored two hat-tricks for Chelsea and Pulisic's already got one. And by the way, he's now the youngest player to score a hat-trick for Chelsea. He's just beat the record of who? Yep, Tammy Abraham, who set that record only recently. And he beats him by like just over a month or something in terms of age. Superb scenes. Anyway, it does look like Chelsea have got an excellent player on their hands and you know what, rather than being immediately thrown in and obligated to play well, Chelsea were afforded the freedom to not necessarily have to do that because if you look at the fine form of Mason Mount being able to play on the wing or in the central position, you look at Callum Hudson-Odoi coming back in who's Chelsea's academy superstar, Willian's superb form, it made it easy to sort of rotate him into the side and it looks like it's worked wonders. And also the great thing about Pulisic is he can play number 10 just as well as he can play the wing. Just like Mason Mount, they both can play the 10 or the wide forward and they're both very different players and offer different things so it's a super 
superb weapon to have for Chelsea Christian Pulisic and it's nice that it's very different to Mason Mount. So everyone knows who's been watching Pulisic for the last few years. He is an incredibly talented player. He's played for Dortmund's first team since he was like 15 or 16 and he's captained his international side USA, hence the name Captain America. Loads and loads of top flight experience at just the age of 21 and by the way he's literally just turned 21. Loads of Champions League experience, loads of international experience. The guy's got a wealth of experience at such a young age and he's got the talent to back it up. Everybody knows Chelsea have often got money and especially when they're about to sell Eden Hazard and generally they're generating good revenue so they're like right they've bought this kid Pulisic he's going to be a Hazard replacement how can you replace Hazard with a kid this young at nowhere near the money Hazard's worth and reflecting on that for just a minute I think Chelsea have actually got a really good deal here think about it Everyone knows by buying Christian Pulisic, you're buying the American market. He's the darling of the United States, the face of US soccer. By buying Christian Pulisic, so many American fans are now going to support Chelsea. People who kind of like soccer and watch the big games, they're suddenly all Chelsea Football Club fans. So in terms of a marketing perspective, it's a great move. But everyone always knew that, especially before he came to the club. We thought, well, it might just be a marketing move. I mean, I, I knew he was good because I'd watched a lot of him. But you can forgive the average fan who doesn't watch a lot of, you know, Bundesliga or international football for thinking, well, it's just a marketing move. And it could have been. Chelsea bought Christian Pulisic for £58 million and he was just aged 20. Compare that to Nicola Pepe who cost £72 million, who's 24. Sorry Nicola Pepe, this isn't a Pepe bashing video, I'm just using it for perspective of the two new wide forwards that have come to two big clubs in England. But yeah, Chelsea got a better deal. If you think about what the current market is like for players, that's a pretty darn good deal. Chelsea sold Ed Hazard for what 130 million the price rising to with 12 months left on his contract now Pulisic didn't have loads left on his contract but still all things considered that's a really good deal for the player they're getting at the age he is it does look like he has the talent and the grit to survive in the Premier League I mean come on man what's the barometer right you say oh yeah he's you know he's twinkle toes he can score like goals and combine and dribble and stuff but can he really do it in the Premier League Look mate, if you go away to Turf Moor in like the late autumn when it's cold and wet and windy, you go to Burnley and score a perfect hat-trick, you know what mate, yes you can hack it in English football. So it does look like Chelsea have got a gem on their hands, Pulisic was brought in and out of the team this season but he's got five Premier League goal contributions already in three goals and two assists in the limited uh, minutes he's got and that works out to a goal involvement every 80 minutes which obviously is an elite return. Pulisic is going to benefit from playing in Frank Lampard's Chelsea side, how attacking they are, how direct they are, he's going to get a lot of chances and a lot of chances to create chances. Whoa. Meta. With superb experience around them in Pedro and Willian and other young players fighting for a spot, but, but with a good camaraderie, this is the perfect cauldron for success and development for young, talented footballers. Superb scenes down in West London. Have the Premier League and English football been sleeping on Christian Pulisic a little bit? Probably. Will he get his chances now? Has he muscled his way in? Has he announced himself into English football scene? Absolutely. Frank Lampard seemed absolutely made up with his progress and he's basically said, look man, I took him out, he had competition, he had no rest over the summer, he had one week's break after his Gold Cup tournament. He needed to be brought out and in, he's got the weight of his country on his shoulders, he's got the price tag on his shoulders. You know, I didn't want to just throw him in, I wanted to know he has to fight for his space, he's not going to have the pressure. He's done all that, he's announced himself, you know, by the end of the season, like I said, pre-season, Chelsea's wingers are going to be Hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, what do you think about Captain America? Do you think he's going to be a superb player for Chelsea moving forward? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the American. If you have enjoyed the content today, remember to like the video, guys. And if you want to talk to me about football, please do come and join the Football Therapy Discord server. And you can join it by clicking the link down in the description via Patreon. It costs $1 and you can join everyone with myself talking about Chelsea and football. And you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That is at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm out, guys. You lot make sure you do enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk.
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I let me be.